high school teacher after that. This will be my te teaching demo for English. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning. morning. Please stand up and uh, forward the finger. Thank you, class, for everything. Thank you, sit down, once again, good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning, class. Please pick up the pieces of paper under your chair and arrange your chair. Okay, thank you. So, do we have any absences today? Yes. And who are they? Nice. So, just a few reminder: uh, no cell phones allowed. Avoid unnecessary noises. And please use that attentively. If you have any questions, just raise your hand. Okay. Can anyone summarize our previous topic? It's about accounting. Very good. It is very important to remember our previous topic. Because that topic will be related to our topic today. So, what can you see in the screen? Very good. So, are you excited? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So, before we proceed, let's read first our objectives. Understand the elements of printing equation. Use accounting equations to know how to be our objectives. So, what are the real life business transactions? Can you give me an example? When you buy something in a supermarket. Okay, very good. So, those are the real life business transactions. Every day, we don't know. We already are uh, dealing with business transactions. Okay, so what do you think is the nature of the business? Okay, very good. It's a merchandising business. So, who owns this business? Okay, businessman. Assuming your parents is the owner of the business, how do you think your parents was able to acquire those things inside the grocery store? Or supposedly, that acquiring those things, your parents' money is not enough to buy it. So where do you think your parents get the money? Okay, so maybe maybe they get a loan from the bank. Okay, let's define accounting equation. What is accounting equation? Okay, so accounting equation from the word equal, no? So accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner. Payable. 
So, nanay utang. Reyes borrowed 100,000 cash from the PNB. So, meaning you have to uh, put it under liabilities account. Okay? So, is it balance? Okay, balance. Asset purchase for cash. So, both people purchase from unpaid 45 cash. So, it is balance. Is it balance? Yes. Okay, balance. Asset purchase account. Still, they are what? Balance. Okay? So, cash withdrawal by the owner. So, uh, account to this affected is the owner's equity. So, there is a withdrawal, 5,000. So, is it balance? Asset and liabilities plus owner's equity. Is it balance? Yes. Okay, balance. So, payment of liabilities still, uh, the account due to the fortune must be in the cash. Okay? So, summation. So, as we can see here, so these are the summary from the previous illustration. So, important is they are what? Balance. But reminder that uh, even if it's balanced, as long as it is following, it, it follows the correct uh, procedures of the account here. Okay? So, now uh, I will group you, uh, group yourself into three groups by counting one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. So, all group number one here, group number two, group number three. And you will be, be graded uh, on the rubric four. This one, rubric rating for the output. Okay, I will give you five minutes to do the 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 task. Okay, you better start now. Five minutes. Okay, uh, papers up. Okay, so this one is okay. You got the correct answer. For our uh, individual activity, for individual activity, please prepare um, this private transaction in a uh, uh, one half sheet of paper. Uh, okay, please describe each transaction. I'll give you three minutes to do the task. Okay, please pass your paper. Okay, very good. So for your assignment. Arrange the following asset liabilities and equity. As we have read here, so please uh, uh, write it in a one whole sheet of paper for your assignment. So, thank you very much. I hope you learned something today and congratulations. Bye.